Okay, I'm going to show you the difference between the two uh, headlights. These are both uh, supposedly 6000K HID bulbs. Okay, here, here's the bulb that's on right now. It's a 6000K bulb. I got it off of Amazon for less than 10 bucks for two of them. And it's supposed to be for a universal bulb. You can see inside there it is um, this is just an outer protective um, um, case for it but you see it's supposed to be uh, uh, universal so it fits in D2C or D2R uh, it's got the these notches are on the bottom that means it will fit in either but it does not have the reflective coating for a um, or the uh, the shielding for a reflective housing. So here's the the light on. Let me turn turn the lights back on. And see that's. That's the beam it throws. It's it's kind of a greenish hue. I don't know if it'll come out in the in the picture, but it's a greenish hue. And um, I'll show you a a difference between the. Uh, I'll post a a picture or I'll insert a picture right here, a still image of the difference between the stock HID from a, a G35 and uh, these bulbs. Now I'm gonna install another 6,000. K brand that I got, um, and we'll see the difference. Okay, here's the new aftermarket bulb I got. It's a Bellion, Bellion, B-E-I-L-A-N. It's um, manufactured in Germany, I believe. I don't know if it's available on Amazon.com, but I got it off of Amazon.de, uh, German Amazon. But you can see here the it's got this coating that's made for the D2R housing. So that's the type of bulb that came off the that's the stock bulb that was on the G35. And this is the type that should go back on it. And I'll show you a, a comparison between the three bulbs uh, side by side in a second. But you can see here that um, it looks, it appears to me from the naked eye that the the beam pattern is more horizontal. There's not as much stray above the uh, cutoff line. So, not as, uh, a lot less likely to blind oncoming drivers. It still is a slightly green tint. Um, I think it's less so than the old ones. I'll show you... Um, the difference here looking at the bulbs here is the stock HID and here is the new one so as you can see it's it's a whiter beam definitely than the stock one over there the stock one is definitely yellow um, got a yellow tint to it But um, this new one has a slightly green tint, and you can see that when I turn on the fog lights. So I'll go turn on the fog lights, and I'll show you the comparison between the the 6000K eight, or LED fogs that I got on there and the 6000K HID bulb that I just put on. Okay, now here's the fog lights are on, um, and I don't know if you can pick it out, but the 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 top bulb, actually they just turned off, but the top one was definitely more green in hue. Okay, and here's the three three bulbs side by side. You can see this this one over here on the left is the stock Phillips bulb. You can see the the coating on there for the D2R housing, the reflective housing that prevents the light from, from shining up. It, it, it's installed in the in the vehicle with this filament 
uh, here on the bottom. So this this blocking uh, tape or whatever prevents the light from scattering up, I think, and into uh, and making it go so that uh, might blind oncoming passengers. Here's the the Claren bulb, which they say is universal. And here is the replacement bulb. And you can also see the manufacturing quality is much better. This has got a metal uh, housing here. It also has these little legs that connect it or hold the bulb more firmly in place. Um, that is similar to what the stock one has. It has these, these little legs that come up and, and meet the bulb at the base and the, uh, a bulb stuck into a plastic housing. Uh, cheaply made, of course. Now this one, this newer uh, aftermarket that I got was uh, not that much more expensive. I think this was uh, maybe, it was less than 20, 20 bucks for two. Uh, these ones were, like I said, nine something or, or 10 bucks for two. And if you want to get the Phillips, direct replacements, those are crazy expensive. I think they're 40 or 50 bucks. Um, so, uh, there's also my, one of my Clarins. was broke out of the box, so that wasn't good. So I had to replace them anyways, and I, I went with the, um, the D2R type instead of getting the universal type because uh, I felt the beam pattern was uh, potentially blinding uh, oncoming drivers. Okay, here's another shot against the wall where you can see the new HID on the left and the stock HID on the right. Now I'm going to turn on my LED fog lights and you'll see that um, the light is whiter from the LEDs and a little tinge of green from the left uh, HID light, but uh, definitely better than the than the yellow of the stock HID.